Hi, Simone. How are you today? Hi, I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's been a minute since we've seen you down there in Clinton at Vicki Healy Properties. Um, mm -hmm. We just wanted to check in with you, see how things are going and have shifted uh, during this time. We've adapted our business really very well. I mean, we're still able to sell houses um, to people that need us to. So um, the pace slowed, but our ability to function did not never really stopped. And so uh, we've been able to adapt our procedures. Uh, the technology that we already had and have, um, you kind of never expected to need it for this reason. Um, but we did have all this technology at our fingertips that really allows us to do uh, most of what we do with no contact at all, um, completely remotely. It's, it's an interesting thing because usually you would like walk into the house, get a feel for the home, see how everything's going. But this might just be the new wave of how we manage real estate um, and not just real estate, but I'm sure there's other businesses that are adapting as well. So can you talk to us a little bit about that? Like how is the experience different for um, home buyers and home sellers? I mean, hopefully this will be temporary. Hopefully we will go back to be having more face-to-face -face interaction because I think that's important for a lot of reasons. Our biggest challenge right now as realtors is getting the message out to folks who wanted to move this spring. Maybe in January they were planning to sell their house and buy a new one or whatever they were planning to do. And they think that they can't now. Um, and that's just not true. The, we can do it for the folks that need housing, um, that need to move. It's 100% possible to do it and to do it safely. We just have to do it a little differently than we normally would. For example, we used to do a really beautiful professional photo package for all of our listings. But now we're also making sure that we include the interactive floor plan. So instead of just looking at the photos online, you're actually able to look at the floor plan and see each room, what's in each room, what the layout is. So it takes a lot of the guesswork out. By the time you actually physically want to go into a house now, you should be able to have had all of the um, questions answered. So it shouldn't be too much of a surprise when you get there in person. Simone, can you tell us about the real estate market right now? What we have is a low inventory market um, with strong demand and um, very low interest rates. So the few houses that are coming up for sale, they're selling and they're selling pretty quickly. We also have a, a market shift that I think is going to trend more long term, which is um, people going from higher density living to lower density areas. So we definitely have a trend of people coming out of Manhattan and into the suburbs. Um, there's a big New York Times article on that last Sunday's real estate section. So there are a lot of pros and there, I think there are some shifts that are gonna be permanent and some shifts that are gonna be temporary. We just kind of have to ride it out and figure out um, how to keep going. Absolutely. You're a great example of why we speak to experts. Um, I feel like I've learned so much already in this conversation. <laughs> what advice would you have for first-time home buyers? Uh, first-time home buyers, right now, interest rates, I mean, this is, you really, to borrow money almost for free, which is basically where we are, long-term is such a good investment. And people across the board make the mistake of looking at real estate in the short term. What's the market doing right now? If I wait six months, will I save some money? Or, you know, um, real estate's not a short term investment most of the time. Most of the time, it's a good long term investment um, and an investment in your life, uh, not just financial. And it's a lot easier to qualify than you think. A lot of people don't buy a house because they think they can't talk to a really good mortgage person, get that pre-approval. Um, you might be surprised that of what you can afford and what you can do. And, um, and even if you're not there yet, they can tell you step-by-step step what you should do to put yourself in that position, maybe in two years or three years if you're not ready right now. But start planning in advance and um, it can open up all kinds of doors for you. Simone, you are incredible to speak to just oh, so much knowledge and I hope people do check 
you out there in Clinton, New Jersey and find a beautiful home with you there. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks.